How you going guys? Out in the wrecking yard today and um, had someone comment that they'd like to see some unpicking videos. So anyway, I've uh, dug out a door from the one of the piles that I've got here and um, yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit of the door and we'll uh, get into unpicking I suppose. Alrighty, so here's the door. You might think this one doesn't look too bad from the outside, as you can see. Um, it's just the J to Z, I think it's the statesman door. Might be wagon. It's hard to tell when they don't have the uh, the quarter window in. Um, but anyway, ugh, flip it on the inside. As you can see, the frame's absolutely rotted out. And uh, yeah, she's uh, pretty far gone. This one. So um, yeah, pretty common that they're rusted out on the bottom. Um, not to this extent, but yeah, that one's pretty well worst case, but. The rest of the door skin is actually pretty good, so this one might be a candidate for a um, for a replacement. Um, because yeah, the uh, you can't buy rear door skins for the J to Z series. Oh, sorry, HQ to HQ to HZ, I should say. Um, so yeah, even if I take off this skin and even if I just replace it, a section through here, or even just even lower it down. We'll, um, we'll look more into that when we sort of get the skin off, but um, yeah. Top half of the door skin's reasonably straight. This surface rush should clean up pretty well. Um, so yeah, I'm looking like I might be able to save this door skin, even if the rest of the door is completely stuffed. So anyway, we'll uh, drag it back to the shed and um, start doing some unpicking, I suppose. All right, some of the tools we got here. Got a hammer. Got um, normally this is one's just for uh, for breaking spot welds. So yeah, obviously you get that under your panel and you, you lift them up. Um, but yeah, sort of after you drill your spot welds, this one's good because um, I can use this to sort of get under the lip and lever it up a little bit, um, and that way you sort of you're starting to get that lift um, of that seam. Um, so yeah, got the hammer, got that. Um, obviously you have to have these. Um, there they go. Little screwdriver just for getting into some of the little harder areas. Um, yeah, I suppose the drill bit sizes. What I like to do first is I like to get a 1 8 drill bit. So these little fellas right here, these are just some cheap ones. Um, I just like to drill through just through the top of the spot weld. So aim sort of in the middle um, and then I'll go through them just with a slightly bigger one so this is uh, what's that here's the size three six tanks um, yeah nothing really too special there just sort of you just what I sort of want to do is um, I sort of just want to break the outer edge of the spot word so yeah don't go too crazy drilling all the way through um, that's what I'm trying to find works like I don't use anything sort of special for this sort of this sort of stuff um yeah like you're not drilling like a whole lot like i said you just sort of just want to break that sort of that that little edge around the spot word but still drill all the way through um just this part of the panel not not the underside anyway that's um that's pretty much what i use for that obviously you get your paint pen or marker whatever you want to use mark out all your spot welds or you can use your wire wheel and find them that way that way they show up a little bit easier like that one rather than uh you can kind, of, kind of see that one anyway we'll uh get drilling i suppose all right so that's the one eighth drill bits going through so as you can see there's just a little hole in there now Made a bit of a bit of a fall of myself, and I've drilled through a few of them, but um, that's all right because when we get the skin off, I can just move those up on the uh, on the back side, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, that's sort of that's really all you just want, all you just need, just something to sort of get you get you started, and not have your um, your slightly bigger drill bit sort of wander around that sort of thing. Anyway, I'll uh, get on to doing that bit now. So that's the 36 cents that I was drilled. 
So through the spot weld, and I've forgotten one of my most important tools, this one. These are just some nail pliers that I've got. Um, sort of, I've chopped them and changed them a little bit. And what this does, there's a little slot cut in this side. Sometimes, depending on the thickness of the skin, that'll just uh, sort of clamp in there a little bit. And then you just give them a little bit of a squeeze. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but um, obviously the one on the inside is starting to come under the skin, so. That sort of that one that gets that sort of started. Um, yeah, that's what I use that for. And um, then I'll sort of alternate between you know the screwdriver and um, and this little fella just to sort of get that sort of lifted up to a ninety. Um, sometimes you have to break just the last little bit of these spot welds, or maybe even step it up to a slightly bigger um, drill bit just in case if they're a little bit more stubborn than others. Um, it is very just trial and error with this sort of stuff. It does take a long time. Um, I'm by no means an expert on it, but I've, um, I've unskinned a few panels, so sort of got my head around it and what works and what doesn't. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll uh, get stuck back into it. I'm not sure how well you guys could see that one on the time lapse, but anyway, that's that little wedge just lifted up. Um, obviously, when the door skins off, you can then clean up these edges with hammer and dolly a little bit better, um, straighten them up. Obviously, you want to sort of do it sort of in a bit of a sequence, just so you don't get the uh, the distortion. Um, but yeah, when you put this uh, door skin back onto another frame, um, you know you can sort of massage a lot of that out. But obviously you, you don't want to cause yourself too much work by making an absolute mess out of it. But um Yeah, not sure how you guys can see that, but um yeah it's it's um it's coming up and around, so yeah that's sort of just how you just want to get started. Anyway, I'll uh, carry on with it. Okay, so skin's unpicked through here, as you can see. Um, I ended up just cutting this part off because I figure I won't be using the bottom half of this skin anyway. So um, that's all loose. So the skin's basically undone. It's um, really just held on just by these bits up here. Um, there's a little bit more on this side as well. So this bit right here. Um, but what I'll do is, is I'm gonna chop the frame off. So chop there, chop somewhere around there. And then I'll basically just, um, I'll just lever those up just a little bit, just enough just to get the skin off, just the, um, just the remaining part of the frame. So um, anyway, I'll, I'll do that. Alrighty, that's one door skin off. So from now, I can then um, I can go along, clean up some of these edges. Uh, one thing I didn't show in the video was um, the four door variants of these cars. They normally just have spot welds through here. Um, that's where you, obviously your quarter window goes. Um, I didn't drill those because now that I've got the skin off, because obviously I wasn't going to use that part of the frame. Um, now that I've got the skin off, I can then just grind the spot welds on the back side. And then when I come client, when, if, I should say, if I decide to reuse this skin, I can then just use my um, my inverter spot welder and just redo them. That way I don't have to MIG weld inside here and then have to, you know, grind them down. So that just saves me a little bit of time in the future. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's actually not too bad in here, this one. Um, obviously, it'll get a lower skin on it if I decide to use it. Um, probably just be able to go up to somewhere around here and then uh, I might 
might do a little video on that just replacing the um bit of um bit of the lower skin i reckon maybe we'll see but um yeah this one's actually not too bad like see that's that's pretty good through there um but yeah that's that's pretty common for these just because they're not sealed i mean that's obviously bare metal under there from the factory um but yeah that's uh that's that one done obviously up under here another common place for them to rust out but um yeah, overall this one's not too bad. Ooh. So yeah, still plenty of mech left on up here to um, to join them to another door. If I decided to go that way with it, but yeah, hopefully that explains it. It's um, it's not too hard of a job. These ones are re relatively easy. Um, So uh, that's that one done. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and help the channel out. If you want to see any more of this stuff, let me know, and I'll um, see what I can do. Cheers.